time to sing and have some fun. We're gonna hear God's word before we're done. We're gonna dance. We're gonna shout. blessings. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time celebrating that Jesus is alive. Hamilton and I have been having our own Easter celebration together. Some of our favorite Easter traditions are things like going for egg hunts, dyeing Easter eggs, putting on our fancy Easter outfits, spending time with family and friends, and of course, going to church, celebrating that Jesus is alive. Friends, Jesus died for our sins and then rose from the dead after three days. There is no one like Jesus. Jesus is stronger than death. Do you know, I have some special eggs here and Hamilton is gonna help me open them and the eggs are gonna help tell the story today that Jesus is alive. Should we get started? Should we get started, Hamilton? Okay, let's open our first egg and see what's inside. Can you help, Hamilton? Good job. Oh, this is interesting. Friends, what's this a little face of? It's a sad face. Can everyone make a sad face? The reason there was a sad face in this first egg is because there were people who didn't like Jesus and they didn't like the things that Jesus was saying. And so they decided to kill Jesus. Jesus died on a cross. And there were many people who were very, very sad that Jesus had died. Should we open our next egg? Okay, let's see what's inside. Ooh, friends, do you know what this is? It's a Band-Aid. The Bible tells us that after Jesus died on the cross, his friends took him down from the cross and placed him in a tomb and wrapped his body with cloth. And then they laid him in this tomb because Jesus was dead. Should we open our next egg, Hamilton? Mm, this egg makes a noise when I shake it. I wonder what's inside this egg. Okay, oh, look at this, Hamilton. It's a rock. Well, after Jesus was laid in the tomb, a huge, giant rock was rolled in front of the tomb where they had put Jesus' body, this way. Nobody could get into the tomb and nobody could get out of the tomb because this rock was so big. Should we see what's in our next egg? I wonder what's inside this green egg. Huh. Hamilton, there's nothing inside this egg. Why do you think that is? Because three days after Jesus had been laid in the tomb, something incredible happened. Jesus rose from the dead. A woman named Mary came to see Jesus' body to take care of it. And when she got there, the rock had been rolled away. The tomb was empty and Jesus was not inside. Where was Jesus? Jesus had risen from the dead. Isn't that amazing? Okay, Hamilton, I think we should open our next egg. Are you ready, friends? Huh, do you know what this is? It's a tissue. What do we use tissues for? We use them to wipe our noses, and sometimes we use them to wipe our tears. Well, Mary was so sad that Jesus was gone, and his tomb was empty, and she didn't know what had happened to him. She didn't know he had risen from the dead. But we know, friends, right? Jesus had risen from the dead. He was alive. 
which means we should open our last egg. Are you ready, Hamilton? Here we go. It's a happy face. Do you know what happened after Mary was crying? Jesus appeared to her. And Jesus called her name and said, Mary, it's me. I'm alive. I've risen from the dead. Isn't that wonderful news, Hamilton? Jesus told Mary that he had risen from the dead and he told her to go tell everyone and she did. She ran and told all of their friends, Jesus is alive. He isn't dead anymore. Isn't this wonderful news? God kept that promise. Jesus is alive today, tomorrow, and forever. Friends, there is no one like God. There is no one like Jesus. There's no one who is as strong as Jesus, and Jesus is alive. And I encourage you, as you have Easter egg hunts today, as you eat special food with your family, as you enjoy all of your special Easter traditions that you remember, we celebrate today that Jesus is alive. I love you all so much. Hamilton, thanks for helping me tell this story. I hope you have a happy Easter. We'll see you next week for the Big God Story, friends. Goodbye.